I'm going to share a, a dream that I had maybe 20 years ago. I say 20 years ago so often about things, but I don't really know when I had it. I just had a dream that I was in a gymnasium in a high school. I used to be, I'm a retired high school English teacher. And I am um, in this gymnasium. I, it was filled with young men about 19, 20 years old. And they were all, um, well, actually the room was pitch black. And I told the two fellows in the front, I said, there's a light here, but I don't know where the switch is. And they believed me and they went and found the switch. And the room then was flooded with light. And I saw all these young people and they all had like overcoats, some like funky overcoats, you know, and some with long hair and, and, uh, and they just, but they all, none of them are looking anywhere, but straight ahead. And the Bible calls that face like flint. And they had a purpose, a divine destiny. And every one of them had a suitcase and some was like, those old vinyl ones, some that fabric in plaid, but they all had a suitcase. And in the dream, I knew, I knew all these, I knew all these fellas. I knew them in the dream. And I knew that their suitcases were packed perfectly, just perfectly. And then that big roll up door that is in gymnasium, those metal doors were rolled up and there was a big plank, a big ramp. And all these young people, young men started marching by and I knew them all and they were, they didn't look right nor left. They just had one purpose and they were walking out toward the biggest jumbo jet ever built, going to the biggest championship game ever played. When I woke up, the Lord showed me that that dream meant, first of all, I don't have to tell young people about how to find Christ. I only need to tell them there is a light and they will find the switch themselves. Also, that suit, those suitcases indicated, showed me, the Lord showed me that those suitcases perfectly packed meant that they were perfectly equipped to do this great battle. And in the, the battle that they were headed to was the battle of the ages against the forces of darkness and they were going to win. Hallelujah. And I wanted to mention that it was four o'clock in the morning. I had another dream at four o'clock in the morning, and that was a dream of a crossroads. And on, on the vertical crossroad, the church, about maybe 20 people, very solid Christians were seated there, four in the morning, and the streets were kind of wet. And uh, there on the at the crossroad street there were very heavy duty wires and and uh, uh, coming from the other side of the crossroads toward those that were seated were all these people desperate to know God I mean they were feverish they were running to get to into position so that they could fulfill the plan God had for them I mean they were charging toward toward those that were seated now the the there was a woman there an older woman who i know and a very wonderful preacher she's since gone on to heaven but she was there ready to preach and i mean she is a good preacher but she took that microphone and there was no sound coming out and when and then i woke up and i know that the lord has shown me that it was a dream showing me that the time was not yet when I had that dream, but everything is set. The stage is set. All the sound equipment is ready and the people are being drawn by the, by the living God, drawn to the gospel, drawn from all over the world to the gospel. And <clears throat> that time is, <clears throat> that time is, I believe, very soon. Uh, but, but in the spirit, it's already ready. And then my sister had a vision, Judy, uh, Judy Christine Messing, Santiago, uh, Messing Santiago had a vision of a clock and it had all fours on it. Now she didn't know about either one of these dreams. The clock had all fours on it. And then she saw, she saw the, a field of clocks, alarm clocks. And they were all set at four o'clock for four. They only had one number on them, four. And then all those fours 
coalesced into the number seven. And we know biblically, I, I'm sure many of you watching this know that the number seven has great significance in the Bible. So does the number four, the four gospels being one thing. And then the seven churches, the seven angels, the seven stars, the seven trumpets, the seven seals. And it's, it's I believe that this is all God, all these three working together, that D-Day is right around the corner. It's coming. It's coming. This huge that whatever the earth has been waiting for all these centuries, it's coming. It's time. It's time for the fulfillment. Amen. In Jesus' name.